Good morning, elementary families. Today is Wednesday, April 1st. This is Jenny Mosher with episode six of the Junior Rebel Express show. On Monday, Mr. Beck challenged us to post our personal precepts and I haven't responded to the challenge. So here it is, Mr. Beck. My personal precept is stay positive, work hard, and make it happen. I chose this precept because it's easy to get discouraged, especially now with so much uncertainty. But if you want to accomplish your goals, just stay positive and keep going. Up next are a few of the precepts I saw posted on Twitter with hashtag MyCRCS. Hello, I'm a fifth grader from Cuba Rushford Elementary. Mr. Beck has challenged us to share our personal precept. Precepts are words to live by. My personal precept is, wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. This is quoted by Lucius Annius Seneca. I chose this precept because it shows people how you can be kind to anyone. This includes people you don't know, people who may not be the nicest, and even people that you do know or that you are close to. I told you my precept. What is yours? Mike, drop. Hello, I am a fifth grader from Cuba Rushford Elementary. Mr. Beck has challenged us to share our personal precept. to live by. My personal precept is the wisest men follow their own course by Euripides. I chose this precept because it shows that people can do things on their own. And when they do, they get rewarded. The people who don't follow what other people do are going to be challenged while being successful. I told you my personal precept. What is yours? My name is Amelia Miller, and I'm a fifth grader from Cuba Rushford Elementary. Mr. Beck has challenged us to share our personal precept. Precepts are words to live by. My personal precept is... Be brave, be strong, stand up for what is right, and be contagious, but with hope and not fear. I chose this precept because some people get treated poorly, and we should all try to stand up for them, because some people can't do it for themselves. And once you do it for them, then they can go help somebody else and spread it. I told you my precept. What's yours? Thank you, Mr. Beck, for posting this challenge. It's been so great seeing all these videos come in with hashtag MyCRCS with everyone posting what their personal precepts are. Up next, just want to remind you about breakfast and lunch pickups. As always, it's Monday through Friday from 11 until 1. We have two locations you can pick up at that elementary school parking lot or the Rushford Fire Hall parking lot. Again, Monday through Friday, 11 to 1. No need to call ahead. Uh, just show up. If you are unable to make it and you still want a uh, breakfast or lunch delivery, just call the number and they'll schedule to get one delivered for you. Next, here are the crisis hotline numbers. They'll be posted on every video for you in case you need access to them. They're always going to be here. Easy access. Up next, we have a few messages from some of your teachers. We have a message coming from Mrs. Klotz, Mr. Williams, and from Mr. Howe. Hi, Cuba Rushford. This is Mrs. Klotz. I just wanted to say hello. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you're having some fun with your families while we are not in school. I hope you're reading some fun books. And I hope that we get to see each other soon. Take care. Hey, Cuba Rushford Elementary. How is everybody? I haven't gotten to see you for music class in a long time. I sure do miss everybody. But... In case you've gotten bored and you'd like to do some fun drumming, then just zip over to my YouTube channel. You don't need any special equipment, just stuff you can find around your house. To find me online, just go to YouTube and search for Cuba Rushford Elementary Drumming and my face will pop up. Once you're there, I'll show you what to do. And I'll be posting some fun music activities there weekly until we finally get to have music class together again back at school. So, zip over to YouTube, 
check it out. Are you ready to have some fun? Oh yeah. Good morning, my CR Rebels. We are going to do an activity today where we're working on dribbling a basketball. Uh, remember when we're dribbling a basketball, we want to use the pads of our fingers or our fingerprints. Also remember we want to keep that ball low, try to keep it at least waist high or below our waist. What we're going to do is I'm going to use my watch, I'm going to time myself and see how long it takes me to knock down all of these water bottles. Okay, so here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Just go around. I don't care what hand you use, you can use both hands. Or you can just keep it in your dominant hand. And stop. So that was about 15 seconds. So what you want to do is you want to try to see how fast you can go. Knock them all down. So next time, we'll do something a little bit different. Signing off, this is Coach Al. Speaking of challenges, on Monday, Mr. Erickson challenged us to the Alphabet in Nature game. And this is a picture of the Miller family accepting his challenge. This week, Mrs. Tucker's class was busy. Here you can see some of her students' math projects. Up next, we have pictures of some of Mr. Weber's students working as well. And finally, Mrs. Mastin sent us this picture of the Schaefer family tuning in for a virtual lesson. This week's Tweet of the Week, I think, should win the cutest video on the internet award. If that's a thing, I just invented it. But certainly, absolutely adorable. Jeannie tweeted, hashtag MyCRCS, a video of Harper giving us an update on Cuba Lake. Absolutely cutest video I've seen so far. And that's it. That's all I have for today's show. If you have any news going forward or any pictures or videos that you'd like featured on the show, you can email them to me or put them on Twitter. Make sure you're using hashtag MyCRCS and I'll see them. Next show will be out on Friday. See you then.